Select the Insert Substation Objects tool. In the Substation Filters Part Type section, select the Radio button for Single. In the Filter Part Number field, key in 3DFN. Locate and select part number 3DFN slab XFMR-T01. A preview of the associated symbol will appear in the lower right-hand portion of the dialog. Select Symbol Settings. In the Substation Object Settings dialog, set the Rotate Z Angle to 270 and the Place Options method to Free, and then select OK. Select Place Symbol and insert the Transformer Foundation as shown. Reset to end the Insert Substation Object command and then close the Insert Symbol macro dialog. Select the Insert Substation Objects tool. In the Filter section, select the Radio button for Single. In the Filter Part Number field, key in 3DFN. Locate and select part number 3DFN slab SIE SPS2. Select symbol settings. Set the rotate Z angle to 90 and the place options method to free. And then select OK. Select Place Symbol. Insert the Circuit Breaker Foundation Symbol as shown. Reset to end the command. Rotate View 1 to the isometric view. Repeat the previous steps for inserting objects and insert the symbol for part number 3DTF, Transformer 5. Use Symbol Settings and change the Device Tag to T1 and the Placement Option method to Hook. Select Place Symbol. The 3D Transformer Symbol will be at the cursor ready to be placed. In the isometric view, move the cursor near the Transformer Foundation. When you see the 3D Transformer Symbol snap and rotate onto the center of the Transformer Foundation, simply enter a data point to complete.
reset to end the command. Select the Insert Substation Objects tool. Ensure the part type is set to single. In the part number filter column, locate and select part number 3DCB SPS2 138 KV. Select the Display ACK Content tool, the bottom center pane, to display a list of mounting hardware for this equipment. Select the View Construction Drawing tool at the bottom center pane and then select the drawing in the list to see a preview of the vendor supplied arrangement diagram for this piece of equipment. Now select Close. In the Symbol Settings dialog, Device ID section, click the Search tool and select CB730 from the list. In the Placement Options section, set Method to Hook and then select OK. Select Place Symbol. The 3D Circuit Breaker Symbol will now be at your cursor ready to place. In the isometric view, move the cursor near the Circuit Breaker Foundation. When you see the Circuit Breaker model snap and rotate onto the top of the Circuit Breaker Foundation, simply enter a data point to complete. Reset to end the Insert Substation Object command. Continuing in the 3D Layout page, zoom into the Circuit Breaker symbol and then select the Insert Substation Objects tool. In the Filter Part Number field, Key in 3DCN. Locate and select the part number 3DCN lug D. Select symbol settings. Ensure that the rotate Z angle is zero and the placement option methods is set to hook. And then select OK. Select Place Symbol. The 3D NEMA connector symbol will now be at your cursor ready to place. Move the cursor near the top of one of the circuit breaker bushings. When you see the connector snap and rotate properly, enter a data point to insert. Continue inserting connectors onto all remaining circuit breaker bushings. When you're finished, enter a reset to complete. Fit the view. Continuing in the 3D Layout page, select the Insert Cable Bus tool. In the Filter Part Number field, key in 3DCA-1. Locate and select part number 3DCA-1033.
select the insert. Following the prompts, enter a data point to define the start point, one of the circuit breaker connectors. And enter a second data point to define the end point on the appropriate disconnect switch connector as shown. In the Cable Bus Object Settings dialog, use the SAG Algorithm drop-down list to locate and select SplineSAG. Double-click the Offset Param Value field and key in a value of 1. Select Preview to see a preview of the conductor with the SAG applied. When you are finished with the preview, reset to return to the Cable Bus Object Settings dialog, and then select OK to accept the preview and complete the insertion. Please note at this point the Cable Bus tool is still active and maintains the selected conductor part number and SAG parameters. This will allow you to insert additional conductors quickly and easily. Follow the prompts and insert the remaining conductors for the breaker and disconnects. When you are finished with all six conductors, issue a final reset to complete. Your finished 3D layout page should look like this.